In 2011, Stacy invested $13,500 in a savings account for her newborn son. The account pays 5.2% interest each year. Determine the accrued value of the account in the year 2029 when her son will go to college. Round your answer to the nearest cent. So because the account is increasing by a constant percentage each year, we will model the value of the savings account using an exponential equation in the form y equals a times b, raised to the power of x, where a is the initial or starting value, and because the account increases by 5.2% each year, we have exponential growth, which means the base b is equal to one plus r, where r is the percent growth expressed as a decimal. So the equation is going to be in the form of y equals a times the quantity one plus r raised to the power of x. But instead of using x and y, let's use more meaningful variables. Let's let v equal the value of the savings account, and we'll let t equal the number of years after the starting year of 2011. a is the initial or starting value, and therefore a is equal to 13,500. And r, the percent of growth each year, is 5.2% which must be expressed as a decimal for the equation, 5.2% is equal to 0.052 as a decimal, which means the equation that models the value of this account is V equals 13,500 times the quantity one plus 0.052 raised to the power of T. Again, we're using the variables of T and V, not X and Y. Simplifying, we have the value of V is equal to 13,500 times 1.052 raised to the power of T. And now that we have the equation, we can determine the value in 2029. We need to be careful though, T is not equal to 2029. T is equal to 2029 minus the base year of 2011. So to make our prediction, T is equal to 2029 minus the starting year, base year of 2011, and therefore t is equal to 18. So when t is equal to 18, the value v is equal to 13,500 times 1.052 raised to the power of 18. And now we go to the calculator, and we're told to round to the nearest cent. So we enter 13,500, and then in parentheses, we have 1.052. This is raised to the 18th power. Enter. Running to the nearest cent, because we have a nine in the third decimal place, the value rounds to $33,621.50. So again, in the year 2029, the accrued value will be 33000 $621.50. I hope you found this helpful.